Hello. Aloha. 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 From the Garden Island. Of Kauai. Kauai. Welcome to the Book Doctor's YouTube, YouTube channel. Where we're here at the Kauai Writers the Conference. The Kauai Writers Festival. <laughs> Conference. Conference. Yes. Uh, it's, God, you can see it's just so magnificent here. It's so gorgeous. And you just feel when you land. Uh, just like liberated and loose and on island time and it's 30 degrees in New Jersey and here we are in our, you know, t-shirts with the ocean, etc, etc, etc. So we just finished a workshop yes. uh, with about a dozen people. Yeah dozen writers and none of whom knew each other when they walked in the room all of whom were writing very very different books from one another there's people from someone from Australia people from here at the island us uh, from New Jersey people from all over America and what was really interesting is that by the end of the four days of the workshop everybody had become very close to each other yes. and it helped each other with their pitches with their book ideas with their bios etc and, and the main feeling that people came out of it with was, wow, it was such a joy to be working with other people and not to be isolated while working on one's own material. And we're all sitting in this room in a kind of a circle and uh, someone is talking about their idea. Someone else raised their hand, oh, what about if you tried this with that? And then another person would go, oh yeah, yeah. What about if you could do that then with this thing? And all of a sudden the ideas are flying around the room and it was really exciting I thought. It was very nurturing experience for everybody and it also made them feel that they could do more than they ever thought that they could because suddenly people were saying for example about your bio wait you also yeah. you told me you did that or you did that and then people have a new confidence in what they're doing. So all this is to say that it really makes a difference to have a team around oh, you yeah, as dream you work. Team, absolutely. It was really like a storming of brains, wasn't it? Like yeah. you could really feel this creativity uh, just like bouncing off the walls and people coming up with things with a group that they could never in a million years have come up with sitting in a room by themselves. Everybody thinks of writing as a solitary act and of course many times by necessity it is. Even if we're sitting in a cafe, we're here in our on our screen with our, our, our whatever typing away we got paper we got pencil whatever it is we're here focused and here the focus was all around us with all of these writers and I've recently I was telling Ariel I've recently joined Twitter as a writer and there's this amazing writer community hashtag writer community uh, on Twitter and there's writers everywhere and this they do this thing called writers lift I don't know if I told you about it but it's where people accumulate these lists of other writers who are just starting out, many of them, and send them all over Twitter. And this is a way for people to accumulate more followers, obviously, but also when someone has a question about their manuscript. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I'm having a problem with my main character, making, it, making the main character more likable, for instance. I'm having trouble with my, the voice of the book. And people are so generous and so giving of their creativity and their ideas. It's really kind of uh, beautiful to watch. And it was fascinating to watch this in reality as I've been watching it uh, online. So where can you go yes. to find fellow writers? So Twitter and other social media platforms can be a way to find other writers and support groups. Goodreads is a great one online. Goodreads, lots of people uh, reading and writing. Reading and writing wonderful place is uh, your own writers group yeah. and lots of people say I don't know where there is one in my town or where I live it's always good to check with libraries yes. and independent booksellers because often writing groups come out of either of those places and you can also create your own writing group and it can be either in person or it can be virtual yeah. So, for example, the people in our class are setting up a virtual writing group together. It's so cool. I just think it's so it's, fun the way uh, people are using technology to uh, bring together 
humans and brains and minds and ideas that are thousands of miles apart from each other. You can also join organizations like the Society for Children's Book right. Writers and Illustrators or the Romance Writers of America, which have different chapters around the country which meet up on a regular basis. NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo. National Novel Writing Month, Going which is on right, right now. now. Are you guys writing your pages, your and, words? And those have local groups all over the world, yes. NaNoWriMo does that you can hook up with. In our local uh, hometown, we have a thing called the Montclair Water Cooler. And it's a place where everybody goes online in Montclair, and it's very specific to Montclair. And with, hey, anybody want to join a writer's group? I did this with a, I wanted to start a ping pong club. Hundreds of people like, yes, ping pong. And I know that you could, in our town, and it's probably in your town too, find a bunch of interesting people on a place like that where you could either meet in person, uh, you know, at somebody's house or at a library, whatever, or online, either way. So please tell us how you have yeah. found other writers. Put it in the comments so other people can learn from what you have done as well. And we hope that you find uh, yeah. your spirit partners yes, in this journey people. of yes. writing. And aloha. Aloha. See, See you at, at the, the bookstore. Book